This little brushless DC motor is 22.5 kilowatts. That's equivalent to 30.5 horsepower. That's crazy! This video has been sponsored by KiwiCo, the fun and easy way to learn how to make projects. You know, there's a lot of perks to being a YouTuber. Sometimes I just get to build toys for myself. The issue is, sometimes those toys don't really fit the whole categories of comics, movies, or video games, which uh, Make It Real is based off of. But usually, if I think hard enough, there's always a way that I can kind of twist it, bend it, to make it fit a Make It Real episode. So on this episode of Make It Real, I'm gonna be building Silver Surfer's surfboard. Wait, you're gonna build a board that flies? Well, it's, it's not gonna fly, but it's gonna be like... You just you wanna know. go surfing, don't you? Well, well yeah, but shut up, I, I don't need you. Uh, can you bring the camera over here? So how exactly are we gonna build Silver Surfer's surfboard? Well, the very first jet-propelled surfboard was made back in 1965, and it was called the Jetboard. It was actually designed by an ex-Boeing engineer, and it was actually powered by a six-horsepower gasoline engine inside of the surfboard coupled to a jet pump. It was quite impressive at the time, but technology has come a long way since 1965, which means we have stuff like this. Now, a gasoline surfboard is pretty cool, but electric is cooler. And thanks to today's technology, we have way more power. In fact, this little brushless DC motor is 22.5 kilowatts. That's equivalent to 30.5 horsepower. Have you seen a 30 horsepower boat engine? It's like, it's like this big. In fact, this motorcycle, this 320 cc motorcycle, which can do 180 kilometers per hour, only has a 35 horsepower engine. That means this motor is almost equivalent to this motorcycle. That's crazy! But how does it all work together? Well, the batteries power a liquid-cooled speed controller, which controls the motor. The motor is then coupled to this jet impeller, which produces around 500 newtons of force. Then, it's controlled using this waterproof remote, which communicates with this wireless receiver. It's pretty simple. We got all these parts from mhzwatercraft.com, a world leader in DIY electric surfboards. Let's test it out. All right, we're ready to go. So now, when I pull this trigger, the motor spins. To learn more about the electronics and how the Silver Surfer board actually works, check out our page on maker.io. One of the most common questions we always get asked is, how do we learn how to make all this awesome stuff? And the answer is quite simple. We've been making stuff for years. Every project that you do adds onto your abilities and allows you to make even more complicated projects, which is why I absolutely love our sponsor, KiwiCo. KiwiCo helps inspire kids to see themselves as makers, engineering and creating their own innovative designs and outcomes. They provide monthly crates designed by experts that include all the supplies and instructions to build a project from start to finish. It's a great resource for learning at home. Plus, the included instructions and magazines have tons of extra content to take learning to the next level. With eight styles of kits available for every age range possible, you'll find one that matches your kids' abilities, ensuring success, confidence, and education. Plus, they're giving our fans 50% off by using our link below. I might not have children myself, but I can guarantee, without a doubt, this is one of the best ways that you can nurture your kids' interest in making and work together on cool projects. A perfect bonding experience. Click the link in the description below and visit kiwico.com slash hacksmith50 for 50% off your first monthly crate. Big thank you to KiwiCo for sponsoring this video. So everything seems to work. Let's test it out with some water. So this isn't a very scientific test, but basically we're gonna shoot some water into the inlet and make sure it comes out the outlet when I spin up the motor. Dave, ready? Yeah, it totally works. This test proved nothing. <laughs> but hey, that's how you make a video. All right, back to the other spot. All right, so all the components seem to work, which means all we need now is a surfboard, which, luckily, I already have. It's silver. Well, it's 
You're going to do a silver surfer on a red board. Fine. <laughs> James, get down there! That's dangerous! James! No! James, come back! Come back here! Come back here! So, you think you can wrap us? Well, I've never done anything like that before, but I can certainly try. All right, awesome. I was expecting about two and a half, three hours. The other side, I don't have to do as much of this patching. I just gotta do the rear. Mm -hmm. And then I can just put a sheet on, right? I don't have to worry about this. This is time consuming here, tucking it all in, right? Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's going better than I expected. <laughs> For all your vinyl wrapping needs, check out Twin City Graphics. Big thank you for doing such an amazing job on our Silver Surfer surfboard. There, are you happy? Silver now. Yeah, I guess that looks good. Look at that. Now, we just have to put it all together. All right, step one, I'm gonna install the powertrain into the board. All right, so we've got the motor installed now, which means I just need to add something to uh, hang on to. So we're gonna add an anchor to the front end, which is gonna be a bit tricky because I actually have to reach my arm in. Yeah, we'll see how this is gonna go. Roughly here. Is your arm gonna fit? <laughs> Can you just give me your arm? Just don't drop it. Okay, well, you're there. Back up. Oh. We spin it. Oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we need to fill that up with silicone without accidentally pushing it back in. So I'm thinking put a safety net on while doing this. Since this surfboard is gonna have so much power, it would be a shame not to try towing things. So we're actually gonna put two stainless steel U-bolts on the back of the board so we can tow some things behind me. All right, so the board's almost done. All we need are the batteries. Now, like I said, this is a 22.5 kilowatt motor which means it draws a ton of power. Luckily, we have these awesome tattoo batteries from Gripow. Gripow is a company that makes batteries for pretty much everything from electric cars to consumer electronics. And these are some awesome LiPos, 22,000 milliamp hours at 44.4 volts. They're actually the same batteries that we used in our half-scale Cybertruck build. Plus, they'll make the surfboard last for quite a while. So let's see how we're gonna install these. 
Battery number one. Battery number two. Find this guy over here. Like this. Got our connection wire. Make sure everything's snug. Perfect. All right, so we've got everything plugged in, which means it's time to test it again. So first, we turn on the remote, see if she works. Sweet, everything seems to work, which means we just need to install this cover and I'll be good to go surfing. You'll, you'll see when I'm on the water. This isn't gonna work, James. I thought you said you didn't need me at the beginning of this video. Shut up. Yeah, baby! Here we go! Woo -hoo -hoo. That was awesome! Oh my god! Aren't you supposed to be silver? Alright, that was freaking awesome. This has got to be some of the most fun I've had with a project in a long time. And that's saying something, considering some of the projects that we've done in the past. This thing worked way better than I thought it would, but there's always room for upgrades. I think we're going to add a second set of batteries and a second set of wires to the motor too, because they were getting a bit hot when I was going really far back and forth. Anyways, if you like this project, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and comment below. Thanks for watching.